Dear brothers and sisters, one of the greatest vices of today's world is a growing spirit of rebellion, a rebellious and arrogant attitude among people at every walk of life. We see the spirit of rebellion in our family life, among teenagers and youth around us, as also in our professional and family circles. The same spirit of rebellion and a lack of obedience is attacking the Holy Church as well, with scant respect for the hierarchy of the Church established by tradition and the Lord Himself. The Lord reminds us through 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 23 that rebellion is as grave a sin as witchcraft and insubordination as iniquity and idolatry. As we make this prayer, let us pray that the spirit of rebellion, arrogance and resentment will be wiped out from our homes, our children, all the teenagers and youth, all schools and campuses, our professional and vocational lives and from our communities, so that we will follow our Lord who taught us to be meek and humble like Him. For the one who rebels and fights against God or a God-ordained authority is unknowingly and very dangerously teaming up with the same spirits who rebelled against God and His sovereign authority. Please join in this prayer as we pray for the mercy and grace of God to defeat the spirit of rebellion. Lord and Heavenly Father, today I offer unto you myself and all in my family tree. I offer the times I have offended you by not obeying your words and rebelling against your teachings of submission and subordination. I am sincerely sorry for the spirit of rebellion, pride, arrogance, haughtiness, loftiness and unforgiveness nurtured in my heart over these years. I seek pardon and forgiveness for any curse or the root of this rebellion passed down to me and my current generation from my ancestry. May your Holy Spirit surround me and fill my body, mind and soul. May the Spirit of love, the love of God and the love of my neighbor fill to the brim and start overflowing into my family tree, my community and my vocation. Come Holy Spirit, fill me, overpower me and permeate my deepest hurts and wounds with the power of your forgiving love. May that spirit of rebellion be replaced and overshadowed by the spirit of humility, meekness, submission and that perfect love which casts out all fears. May all the insecurity and inferiority in me which is the cause of this rebellion and any form of craving for recognition be cleansed and healed by the powerful blood of Jesus and blood of Mother Mary. May the blood of Jesus go deep into the wounds which is causing rebellion, discord and strife. May any abusive experience leading to emotional, physical or sexual wounds be immersed and hidden in the holy wounds of Jesus. I take now the mighty protection of the precious blood of Jesus, the blood of Mother Mary, the blood of the martyrs St. Peter and St. Paul, along with the powerful intercession of St. Michael, St. Raphael, St. Gabriel and all the angelic hosts, the powerful intercession of St. Joseph, St. Anthony, St. Padre Pio, St. Francis Xavier, St. Philomena and St. John Vianney. I confidently come against you, Satan, and all evil spirits perpetrating the spirit of rebellion in me, my family tree, my community, my neighborhood, professional working places, the Holy Catholic Church and this entire world. Be gone, you spirit of rebellion, 
pride, arrogance, and bitterness from me in the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ, and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be gone, you spirit of rebellion and lack of submission from my entire family tree, including the past nine generations and all the generations to come. Be gone, you spirit of rebellion and insubordination from my vocational or professional life by the power of the intercession of the Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who crushed your rebellious head with her humility. Be gone, you spirit of rebellion, from my community and this country, by the power of Lord El Shaddai and by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I command you, I command you, I command you, spirit of rebellion, to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Be gone, you spirit of rebellion and insubordination from our children, the teens and youth of this world, by the power of Lord El Shaddai and by the power of the Holy Spirit, and humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Be gone to be condemned and never to return, you spirit of rebellion and haughtiness and loftiness, in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Lord, we now pray that you will send your mighty angels to minister to us, protect us, and guide us from every snares and hidden traps of the enemy throughout our lives. Forgive us our sins, O Lord, and give us a powerful anointing of the spirit of humility, love, and self-abandonment. Amen. We now lift our personal intentions and the intentions of the whole world, pleading the mercy and grace of God against the spirit of rebellion as we pray. O Jesus, make him humble of heart, make my heart like yours. O Jesus, make him humble of heart, strengthen me with your spirit. O Jesus, make him humble of heart, teach me your ways. O Jesus, make him humble of heart, help me put my self-importance aside to learn the kind of cooperation with others that makes possible the presence of your Abba's household. We bring to you, O Lord Jesus, all our family members, extended family members and friends for a complete deliverance and healing from the spirit of rebellion, pride, arrogance and unforgiveness. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, Make my heart like yours. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, strengthen me with your spirit. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, teach me your ways. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, help me put my self-importance aside to learn the kind of cooperation with others that makes possible the presence of your Abba's household. We bring to you, O Lord Jesus, all the schools, campuses in our country and the entire world for a complete deliverance and healing from the spirit of rebellion, pride, arrogance and unforgiveness. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like yours. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, strengthen me with your spirit. O Jesus, Meek and humble of heart, teach me your ways. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, help me put my self-importance aside to learn the kind of cooperation with others that makes possible the presence of your Abba's household. We bring to you, O Lord Jesus, all the teenagers and youth, known and unknown to us, for a complete deliverance and healing from the spirit of rebellion, pride, arrogance and unforgiveness. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like yours. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, strengthen me with your spirit. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, teach me your ways. O Jesus, 
meek and humble of heart help me put my self importance aside to learn the kind of cooperation with others that makes possible the presence of your abba's household we bring to you o lord jesus the past nine generations of my family tree my entire community and neighborhood for a complete deliverance and healing from the spirit of rebellion pride arrogance and unforgiveness o oh jesus meek and humble of heart make my heart like yours o oh jesus meek and humble of heart strengthen me with your spirit o oh jesus meek and humble of heart teach me your ways o oh jesus meek and humble of heart help me put my self importance aside to learn the kind of cooperation with others that makes possible the presence of your abba's household we bring to you o lord jesus the entire catholic church all religious and lay people for a complete deliverance and healing from the spirit of rebellion pride arrogance and unforgiveness o jesus meek and humble of heart make my heart like yours o jesus meek and humble of heart strengthen me with your spirit o jesus meek and humble of heart teach me your ways o jesus meek and humble of heart help me put my self importance aside to learn the kind of cooperation with others that makes possible the presence of your abba's household we bring to you o lord jesus all forms of rebellion in our families especially against parents and elders disrupting family unity o oh jesus meek and humble of heart make my heart like yours o oh jesus meek and humble of heart strengthen me with your spirit o oh jesus meek and humble of heart teach me your ways o oh jesus meek and humble of heart help me put my self importance aside to learn the kind of cooperation with others that makes possible the presence of your abba's household we bring to you o lord jesus all forms of rebellion and insubordination towards husbands or any other form of god ordained authority teachers employers church leaders or civil government authorities o oh jesus meek and humble of heart make my heart like yours o oh jesus meek and humble of heart strengthen me with your spirit o oh jesus meek and humble of heart teach me your ways o oh jesus meek and humble of heart help me put my self importance aside to learn the kind of cooperation with others that makes possible the presence of your abba's household we bring to you o lord jesus all forms of rebellion perpetrated and glorified by mass media music industry especially rock and heavy metal music afflicting our youth internet movies and television channels O oh Jesus meek and humble of heart make my heart like yours O oh Jesus meek and humble of heart strengthen me with your spirit O oh Jesus meek and humble of heart teach me your ways O oh Jesus meek and humble of heart help me put my self importance aside to learn the kind of cooperation with others that makes possible the presence of your abba's household we bring to you o lord jesus all forms of rebellion against god by corporate leaders political leaders technology companies and all who are working against the creation of god abortions medical and healthcare innovations physician assisted suicide and any other life altering inventions O oh Jesus meek and humble of heart 
make my heart like yours. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, strengthen me with your spirit. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, teach me your ways. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, help me put my self-importance aside to learn the kind of cooperation with others that makes possible the presence of your Abba's household. We now recite the litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, Lord Jesus. That others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world others may increase and I may decrease, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I go unnoticed, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. St. Michael, St. Raphael, St. Gabriel, the Archangels, with the powerful intercession of Mother Mary and St. Joseph, defend us in our battle against the spirit of rebellion, pride, arrogance, and insubordination. Protect our thoughts, our minds, our words from the loftiness, pride, and every other wickedness of the devil. May God, my all-powerful Lord El Shaddai, rebuke him. May God, my all-powerful Lord El Shaddai, rebuke him. May God, my all-powerful Lord El Shaddai, rebuke him. We humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl through the world, inciting rebellion against God and every other God-ordained authority. Amen. Our dear Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.